the longest three ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Drew's trying to count us in and he's I like three. Doubt. What's up guys? Welcome to the show. It's I Thursday. just seeing if we were paying attention. Happy right? Thursday. Happy Thursday. Cheers guys. Hey. What is this beautiful liquor you got in your glass here? I don't have it yet. I'm getting ready to pour it. I have this in my glass. Only I think three you of have us. this in your glass. This is Tandem Batch 1, which is what we have released this week. Unfortunately, there's not enough for Mark. <laughs> <laughs> just enough. I don't need a glass. <laughs> I'm not too good to drink out of a bottle. Um, I'll tell you, though, this has been a pretty good <laughs> bottle. Not just obviously for us to drink. I think we gave it a four, right? All of us gave it a four? Yeah. I believe so. I think, yeah, I'm I think sure. Yeah, this was my the one I liked out of the three, anyway, the yeah. most. Yep. Yes. Um, but a lot of conversation, guys, on this yep. one. A lot of comments. A lot of uh, people it's, seem to like it. I'll tell you what. It's a, it's a cool distillery. The stuff that they put out is really, really good. Uh, I'm a big fan of Tamdu. Yeah. I I can't think of a bad thing to say about the distillery. So, honestly. plus the bottle's sexy. I do love the bottles. It's hard to hard to knock that. I was going to look up and see what what were the the three scores on all three of them. I'll look it up. Just for the us. average score. Sure. I mean, I don't. Well, I'm well, doing that. Once you guys say hi, yeah. everybody online. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Online. Everybody, <laughs> everybody. Hi, everybody. Bud's here. Oh, geez. Oh gosh. Did you survive the first round of the Masters, Bud? <laughs> Just barely. Hey, Michael Porter's on. I saw he so, he just scored some new scotch. Sorry, what are you doing, Josh? Well, it does that when you what in the world? Like All right. Um, scotch on the Bayou's here. Tom R. Great audio and video. Oh, yeah, we were talking to Tom a Tom. few minutes ago. It's and, all good. And Lee and Everwind. Um, James Bowers on. Travis. Yeah, we got a good line. There's Bob. Bob's right. here. I'm like, well, I don't see KB here. Is that right? Hey, there's, there's Eric. Eric. Unfortunately, Tam Dude Distillery is not open to the public. Says you. Eric, we need to talk. <laughs> you need to make that happen. <laughs> Don't accept that. We're, we're, we're working on that. <laughs> right. We've already got invitations right. to, to no. distillers that aren't open right. to the public. Don't accept that as an answer. Just because it's not open doesn't mean it's not open. You exactly. know what I'm <laughs> so, um, Batch two. Batch two we gave a... Three five three five. You gave it a three three five. So you're the only one with three. Okay. Batch one. Uh, batch one was fours. Was fours. Batch three. Uh, batch three is three three for me and Andrew and you and Sean gave him three fives. All right. So. Uh, so high three, scores. Three, three eight for the two. Three point two five for the three and obviously a four point oh for the four or for the one. Right. We hadn't done the four yet, but the four. But we have the four. It just right arrived. Here. What is that? Tam do can do. Hello, lover. What's this? Show it to the camera there, Look buddy. at this doll that just came That's from a over good the Good-looking bottle. Nice little UK tax stamp. Right. <laughs> Let's see what this thing. You know what sucks like. about that though? It's only a seventy. <laughs> it's not a seven fifty. So. Still good-looking bottle. <laughs> Honestly, as far as color-wise goes, I think they're pretty stinking similar. I, yep. Um, I can't wait to try it. I can't either. Obviously, they changed their packaging. It didn't come in a tube. I wonder right. if, if once it comes over, once it makes it to the States, Maybe. if it'll be in a tube like that. It might, yeah. Um, I would think so because this is the... Black, uh, black label, right, two versus black. white. Right. Uh, I can't wait to put these four head to head. That's going to be fun. Blind taste, all four of them. Cage match. Man, <laughs> see who comes out. See if our scores really reflect, stick true. You know what I mean? Well, it's going to be hard because we're all like, that's good, that's good, that's good, and that's good. So we're all good. One's going to. I'm going to need one, one more glass to figure one will this come out. out. Right. 
one will come out. So we will open this one. Andrew's obviously not here tonight, but uh, we'll definitely open it. Um, we may have a little sample one of these days, but I'm looking forward to the review and the blind. Yeah, that's, that's going to be, be a lot of fun. epic, I think, actually, to do that comparison. Because so far, I mean... My liver hurts just thinking about that well, one. Well, the lowest score is a three, Oof. three, five for everything else. I mean, all of them have scored really well. That's I like where your head's at, at, everyone. We were just talking about that. <laughs> Maybe What's that? We should talk to Tam to see if we can't get a cast from them. Yeah, we were talking about the pre-show before we dial into Discord. We're, we definitely... We're, uh, we're working a lot of angles. Natural color, Tom. Non-chill filter. So it's good, to, it's good to see Caster. Eric wait on. I know that he had a nice little Texas trip. Is that right? Yeah. And, uh, he had a little mishap, but it's good. Sounds like things are okay for him. He's back in, at home. And he made it back. That's a good start. His luggage, hey, hopefully. The, the distillery pictures were cool. They were really it, cool. It looked and like well, a really neat distillery. Scott and Scott. And Scott came Scott down. just shows up, right? That's right. pretty cool. Um, hey, Eric, by the way, uh, why don't you throw out here that you're going to be doing... Uh, a live show tomorrow night talking about that uh, Ardbeg drum. So if anybody wants to tune in, make sure everybody knows what time. Put it in the chat. I might have a glass. We still have that here, right? Somewhere? Yeah, it's up. It's second next to the climate. Yeah, I may have a glass tonight. See if it's gotten any better for me. That's My cute. liver will be studied for years, Bud Matthews quote. Luckily, it'll it'll stay preserved. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally pickled. Exactly. <laughs> Texas whiskey whiskey is awesome. Cool. Huh. It looked like you had a good trip, other than it your mess like up on the facility. way home. Right, the, 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 what you went for looked like it was awesome. Yep. We're uh, so we're gonna go to some distilleries. Yeah, what are we doing? This, we are this going. Weekend, right? Yeah, so we we're are heading down south. Put the word in the streets. Tomorrow afternoon, we're uh, we're gonna go down to Kentucky and spread some gospel, some Scots yeah. gospel. See if we can convert those folks. Probably not. You need more <laughs> barley in your whiskey. Need more barley. This corn is not Let's good. Roll out this corn. Green corn. Green corn. <laughs> well, we're uh, we were invited down by Alan. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have a good time. It, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. He's got some some tours that he's gonna take us on. We're definitely going to Willet. Uh, we're going to Castle Excellent. and Key. Um, he's going to take us to uh, a few other places, I believe, and, and just going to enjoy some Southern hospitality. We're going to so. take some bottles yeah. down from our bar. Yeah. Um, we're going to sit at his house and lay it off. I'm sure we'll we very we well can, make We can watch life. our wives uh, get bored looking at us <laughs> drinking whiskey. That would right. be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it's very true. Uh, very true. But it's going to be great to meet Alan for the for, first yeah, time. Yeah, it will. It's going to be a good good weekend. Really looking forward to it. We've been saying we wanted to do this for a couple of years now, so I'm glad we're actually going to make it happen. Mm -hmm. um, well, I've never been to the trail, so I've, I've never I've, been. I've passed, passed it many times. but Obviously driven through you know that part of the country, yeah. but I've never stopped at any bourbon distilleries. Mm -hmm. It's so. still whiskey. It's still All the same right. process, Brown just different ingredients. Right? Brown liquor. I'm, I'm excited. I think it. we'll be it's okay. Be fun. Yeah. We'll blend right in. Well, we can hold our own. We'll figure it out. <laughs> well, stop so, by and get some old forest. Oh, we don't go to old forest now. <laughs> so what else is going on? Uh, my glass is empty. Uh, I don't know what, what's going on. Look, <laughs> that that looks uncomfortable. We should yeah, do something with that. Sharp, we should get that thing out of here. <laughs> That's like a freaking counter. So, oh, it is. We uh, we we broke it open. We did. The seal has been broken. We, we, we did no? the sure. I don't know. I kind of like the air of mystery that we have going on. Right? Need to keep that secret. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, we, got, we got to do the opening video for so, this, right? Yeah. Good point. But Good point. Uh, we Let's we did open. open it. We did a review on it. Uh, no, we're not going to tell you what we. Did, no, I'm not going to talk uh, anything about when's, the review. When's when's the review actually come out? It's not next Monday, right? It's the following well, Monday. I believe we just did. Uh, this was 198, I think. Right. So next Monday will be 199 and 200. So that's right, April. it will be 200. So this will be 200. We're doing what? An Andrew's CBS. Yeah, it's bottle the next cheap, week. The cheap plastic bottle. Oh. <laughs> <next week. laughs> live, live up to you know oh. hype. Um, actually, I'm not even sure what we're doing next week. I, I can look at the the list. But before the 200th uh, review is posted, we'll have the unboxing. We'll have the unboxing yeah, video posted. Right. right. So well, everybody can look Drew's forward to that. Drew's got this. We, we made a schedule. Okay. Drew's got a schedule. So the you gotta have 21st, schedule, man. 21st. The 21st will be the live show, which we haven't put it out there yet, but I'm going to get it out there probably uh, maybe even tomorrow and get, so it's, get it scheduled. Um, I think it's Easter, actually. We're doing it at 3 p.m., um, we're going to be doing here uh, a live show, and uh, that's when we're going to 
open this up and pour samples, do the do the uh, whole drawing giveaway piece of it at 3 p.m., do all that stuff. And then the We're doing it on Easter or we're doing it Monday. the following Well, Sunday. Easter is, isn't it the 21st or is it that? It is, but. Yeah, we have to, we I, have to do it then because the 15th is in 190, um, is 199 and, tw- and the 22nd will be the 200th. And we got to do it before the 200th. So it has to be the 21st. All right. So what's the? 21st? Well, you guys will be one dummy shy. Oh, you won't be here. I got work, man. Oh, <laughs> well, we may have to reschedule this. <laughs> Easter Sunday, you got to work on Easter Sunday. I mean, come on, you can't close. What's up, Keith? Yes. I have to work on Easter Sunday. Um, so I, I didn't hear any of that. I was reading something. What? That's we're talking about when we're going to do the drawing and stuff, mm-hmm. right? Okay, I just want to make sure everybody oh, well, that's everybody so, that's ponied up and, and has you know entries in this, they want to know when when. I mean, you can in. do it then. I don't care. No, we'll figure it out. We'll we'll talk about it offline then. I thought we were all set. I thought we were doing it the Sunday after we released the review and did the live show. Uh, I don't, I can't do it that day, so we'll, right. we'll talk about it. When we're all right, offline. all right. But we're gonna right. definitely have a schedule. Eeny, meeny, miny, go. I mean, I don't. You guys can do it without me. No, 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 no. no. No, 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 no. But anyway, the point of the review is is to have everybody here Ooh. at 3 p.m. so that we get everybody on. We're gonna have some special guests, and we're gonna um, do the drawings and pour the samples live, and you're gonna see the whole thing. It's gonna be pretty cool. Yep. Hmm. I was I was typing out. I want uh, Trooper uh, Henry said he's pouring a Talisker Distillers Edition. I was gonna ask what year. What year is it? All right. Uh, I need something from my glass. I don't want to drink need? up all the, yeah, the batch one. Mark, did you, did you pour this uh, I did. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, sipping on that guy way. right now. So, What you want? What you, what you, what you want? I'm going to go with... Boy, if we could score a cask of this stuff. Right? I'd totally do that. I think we wouldn't have any problems getting rid of it. No. It's, it's and I'd tasty be, stuff. I'd be happy to, you know, be a part of it. I don't want to put out a bottle of something that I'm embarrassed of. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Something a cast strength is always a good idea. Strength. You know what? I would like some Lagavulin. Lagavulin? It sounds like a top. great idea, Tom. Now we oh, got to get that bottle. Fair, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Dang. Uh, oh. Maybe reach up there. So. <laughs> cast strength, Dalmore. <laughs> yeah, see, it's a good point, Mike. You're right. It's all good, man. Do it, wheelhouse. Show that. Yeah, it's, it's all good. Heck yeah. You gotta crack that. Don't There's KB. Five, He's here. Bob's gonna take 20. <laughs> yeah, you will Pour it in my hands for a quarter. Oh my gosh. What you got there? Oh, None. Log of You ready? Oh. <laughs> Put me down for five bottles if you get the cask, cask of Tamdu. You know, damn right. I think you're. I think that'll sell quickly because this is good stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can make that. I'm not going to hold my breath, but anything's possible. We're trying I, anything. Yeah. So, Lagavulin. I, uh, tonight, I went on our website, and I ordered a Scotch War t-shirt, my t-shirt, and uh, I, I had to guess the size. That seems for, a little uh, narcissistic. I bought it for Nick Offerman, going to see him in a couple weeks, and All I'm right, hoping I get enough. a chance to meet him, and if I do, I'm giving him a Scotch War t-shirt. <laughs> And I'm taking a box of log of one to get him to sign it. That's a spirit. <laughs> That's a spirit. Heck yeah. See if you can get him to tweet one of our shows. I, I mean, if I can get him to wear a Scotch Horse shirt for just a second to get a picture. That'd be awesome. You uh, uh, put this on. I think that Instagram shot would, would go viral. That's it. <laughs> Give me all the log of one you have. Buddy. Come on over, bud. Log of one kick. So, you know what, before I forget, because I forgot about you last week, bud, um, now that we're some poured log of one, make sure everybody knows that uh, on Facebook, Bud has started a new Facebook group called uh, log, of, log of One Appreciation Society. Is that what we called it? What'd you call it? He made me an admin. I don't even know the name of it. Um, <laughs> it's a good job there. Bro. I know. I, I'm, I'm going to push that one. out, man. I got it, Way bud. That. I got you covered, man. Um, I want to make sure that everybody knows about it, we need more people to come on out. Heck yeah. Get on, on the, the channel. It's basically... I'm in there. Log of Woolen's fun. I'm in there. Log of Woolen Appreciation Society. There it is. The LAS. Giddy up. Scotch Comet. Good to see you, bud. I am drinking Tamdu Batch Strength. 
Ooh. I like the one. It's good. I do too. I like all of them so far. Yeah. The one's definitely um, kind of. The I needed top. something with a little smoke tonight. I think. Yeah, I'm just might, in the mood for it. I'm actually excited to try the uh, the, the drum again. This I was thinking about a that. cigar earlier, but uh, just ran out of time. I'm down with that. I'll sign the shirt before I give it to him. I mean, that means something, right? <laughs> yeah, he's going to love the shirt. Like, who's, who's this jackass? <laughs> Just me. Here, he's put he, it on. He's, he's going to go back and say, thanks a lot for that. He's like, here you go, intern. <laughs> Whatever. Brody. It's worth a shot. you got to try. It's difference in the distiller addition to the Log of Wollen 16 regular. Yes. So you're talking about Log of Wollen Distillers Edition and Log of Wollen 16? Yeah, there is a difference. Um, I, I wish we had a bottle of the Distillers Edition here. Yeah, I don't even think I have a bottle at home anymore. Um, it's, it's a different match, a different finish. I want to say that the Distillers Edition has a sherry finish. Somebody chime in on this. Who's got a bottle of it? I know somebody on this channel right now has a bottle of Log of Wollen Somebody might be drinking it right, right now. Who knows? Um, um, I know it is different. I like them both. Uh, but they are there's a difference, and you would know it if you did it on a blind test. I I know that for a fact. I got to give a class on uh, distilled spirits today. On distilled spirits. Yeah. A class where? At, at work. To who? A training class. Oh, to, to your bright-eyed your, trainees. To your new new employees. Yep. And there's there's always one in every class that thinks he knows what's up that doesn't. Wow. Why did Scott's comment thinks you need a glass of White Walker? That's Ooh. mean, man. No. Nope. <laughs> Cold. 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 <laughs> there is there is never a need. Never. Uh, <laughs> PX finished. There PX. You go. Yep. I said Sherry finished. All right. I knew it was something. You know, it, it's of, a little um, different. I I just prefer the sixteen. I don't. I mean, I, mean, I love the sixteen. I got a couple bottles of it home. I, I got two bottles sitting up there. Yeah, and then you should. Everybody yep. should. I, I have two bottles. Of them. Absolutely. Um, thanks to you, by the way. Uh, so speaking of logable, the nine, right, is out, which is the Game of Thrones, which, by the way, mm. is starting Sunday. Uh, no, you're not a show well, fan. Hold on. Before you get to the show starting up. The best thing I've seen all week is that Diageo's re-releasing the whole line. What? <laughs> yeah, you didn't see all. No, the, I didn't yeah, see that. they they I don't know they found more boxes or they held some back or whatever. But now they're they're, they're gonna push re-flooding the market now that the show's starting back up. And oh, so all hot. these all these cats that spent like five hundred bucks a bottle. I'm sorry if it was any of you guys, but I wouldn't have done it. Ouch. Because I saw on the Scotch Attic today somebody was hot about it. Oh, wow. And all these guys that, that went and bought cases and cases of it to, you know, sell to collectors or whatever, and now you can get it for, you know, well, 50 money. bucks a bottle. But I have to say that's kind of BS of Diageo. When you say you've got a limited edition of something, it should be a limited edition. But um, do you... Are you surprised that that corporate decision wasn't made a long time ago? Uh, We're holding some back because yeah. the weekend it comes out, we'll be able to push this again. Yeah. That's easy one. Uh, Honestly, I, I don't even blame Diageo that much because they weren't trying to stick it to the customers. It was all the liquor stores that right. did it. It was all the liquor stores you know, the secondary market that yeah. was really pushing you it. Know, Diageo, I thought the prices on the bottles were the list price was actually reasonable for right. what they were giving you. I agree. It was I everybody agree. that was trying to make a quick buck off the collectability of the items that Whatever. screwed the market. Well, Whatever. regardless of the fact, it starts Sunday. I am super hyped about it. I am. I can't wait to watch. How, how long has it been? Has it been like three years? No. Two and well, a half? Yeah, like almost two, I think. Gosh, it's ridiculous it, how It's long been a long time. I'm, I just want the thing to get over with. I, who do you guys think is going to win this thing, man? I'm I, know, for I know who you think is going to I'm pulling for Theon Greyjoy because that dude just has lost everything. I mean everything. <laughs> uh, or, of course, the midget. Everybody's going to pull for the little guy, right? But I don't know. I'm, I'm going to read a book. I'm, I'm in the middle of four books right now. So Forget all that, dude. I'm watching some White Walkers. <laughs> So, um, let's switch to some gears here. So, Gregor asked a good comment. What do we think about the McAllen staff? Um, oh, news? The, the, the news that uh, the McAllen distillery manager is leaving the, to take a, a job at, was it Bladnock? Does that sound right? Uh, I, I, it's a, it's a small, a small new, family new. owned distillery. That's, it's real small. And so, he's the top distillery manager at McAllen, and he's just walking away from that and going it's to pick up the yeah. What does that mean, I wonder? What do you think I, it means? I, I think dealing with what McAllen does versus dealing with what a small distillery does. Like if you're 
if you're a craftsman, right? He's going. He's, you know, he's making this move for his craft because yes. he wants to be able to do some different things. And he he's he's at McKellen. He's in his box. Yep. Here's your play space. And yep. now he goes to this other distillery. He you know he probably gets a free canvas. Do what you want to do. It's not going to go in the leak crystal, right? But but the probably tastes awesome. I, yeah, I mean, it, it'll be interesting to see what he does there. It'll be interesting to see once liquid starts getting bottled that he made, yeah. you know, well, which will be a while. But. The, the, the interesting thing about the, the whole world of distilling scotch, for, for me, and I'm sure you guys will agree, is just un- taking the, the, you know, the, the whole um, Wizard of Oz thing away behind the curtain and seeing what's really back there. And it's not, obviously it's amazing, great stuff, but... They're not huge. Most of them aren't huge corporations. They're they're a man, seven man, eight man team of people creating all this stuff. Absolutely. But, but you think that it's just this huge corporate office? Like now, the Aju obviously is that. Right. McCallum is that, um, and some of the other ones. But I mean, for the most part, they're small business basically in a sense, um, as far as people. Yeah. Right. And so there's more intimates. There's more things going on. There's more conversations. You're really down in in the trenches of what's going on with your product and having conversations. So his move over there, if you think of it in the corporate business world, I mean, that's basically going from a huge corporation to a small small business. There's a big political yeah. change right there. I mean, you don't have to deal with all the politics over here. And now you're like, hey, let's actually get some shit done. Yeah. And so there, I can totally see that move if that's what it's like over there. And I'm, I'm assuming it probably is. I, I'm sure that... You know, McAllen, some of the larger distilleries, it's probably a much more corporate, rigid. They, they have a product that they're trying to protect at like that point, right? Is. You know what I mean? McAllen is going to be religious about, you know, making sure that their product is, is taken care of. So, so it's, it's, it's also a, a, in a different region. I don't think it's in a region that he's made whiskey from. It's a lowland distillery. So it's going to have a completely different profile, and it offers him so much more opportunity to get out from underneath the, the weight of the, the McKellen, right? right? I mean, the, the guy's pretty young. I mean, I, you look at his age, and you're like, hey, he, you know, you were the master still from McKellen? What did I do wrong? <laughs> right? like you, you want a list? or Yeah, the, <laughs> it, it said verifying update. It just decided to update on its own. It's nice. So yeah. we're not going to read comments because... Yeah, no comments. The uh, iPad has decided that it needed to... Uh, I got comments here. Guess whatever, say. update. Whatever. Um, but, you know, since we're talking about... Ones. You're talking oh, yeah, about gotcha. the scotch and the news type stuff. Um, I, uh, I also saw that uh, one yeah, of our somewhere. new favorite distilleries that we made friends with, uh, Patricia uh, Dillon from That's Spay. That's huge, isn't it? From Speyside. So Speyside Distillery just signed this major deal with... Um, with China, and they're going to be like ramping up, doubling their production, and, and sending a ton of their Spay whiskey uh, to uh, to China. I'm excited for them because I really like the, the whiskey they're making right now. I mean, the stuff we had at Benny's at that that 18 was delicious. Actually, we bought a bottle, we brought did. it home. We did. And we got to get a hold of this. We did a review on this one, and um, they liked it. The channel liked it too. This is a really good bottle. Yep. It is. I, it, to I mean, me, and most people would think of eh, something great. It's, Unbelievable! I for sixty five bucks. If you go out to their website, their their marketing scheme has got a picture of a guy like you know, sh- and it, it's kind of it is it's yeah. a secret right now. It's a really good affordable it's whiskey. Going to get big quickly. Right? Yeah, I, I'm all good. about it. I, and it was good. Super excited about doing some stuff with her. You know, Patricia was great. Um, she, it was fun to talk to her at the at Benny's, and then Ed Cole. You know, we've met Ed him. He's so knowledgeable. Yeah, God. he's you know, a super nice guy. You know, he's a keeper. He's a keeper of the quake. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so I. It's, hey, Lana. I don't. Know. He's he's he's. Uh, I'm, we're gonna get a hold of him, and we're gonna have him down here at the bar. We're gonna do something. Yeah, yeah. Like he's that. already said he wants to come down. Yeah, which is hilarious. So, what was that? Lana we're we're trying to uh, we're trying to get a couple of uh, special guests down at the bar pretty quick. We're trying. We're, we're working hard on a couple that of people. One, if we can get. Oh my God, that would be oh. epic. Epic. <laughs> we won't even say who it is. Yeah, We're just going to say so there's, there's a chance. There's, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Point zero, 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 but we're But we're working on it. We're trying. Because you know what? Uh, if you don't ask, the answer is no. Right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Got to ask. Even when you do ask, the answer is usually no. That's but right. Every once in a while, 
Every once in a while. Every once in a while the sun shines on a donkey's right. ass. And the squirrel finds it. So we're uh, we're working on it. But that we've got a few guests coming up that'll be we do. very cool and entertaining. So uh, and I've got uh, I got some stuff going on at the restaurant this summer. You brought so. a calendar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know we're doing a Bruclati tasting. Uh, I think in August, and then in September we've got. Is that going to be a dinner tasting, or is it going to be out on the? Patio no, it's going to be a, a quick deal. All of these are like one hour. One hour. Uh, nice just a, just a little. It's it's basically a condensed run through of what we actually do in a restaurant for for staff. Okay. You know, so I mean, we we have a lot of reps come in that want to talk to our staff and and just educate them about the brands and make sure they know what's going on. So they'll come in and they'll run you through. You know, Hendrix Gin and what's special about Hendrix Gin or, you know, different rums. I think Mount Gay's doing a, a rum tasting for us. Uh, we're doing a Brooklotti tasting. But they'll come in and it's usually a half hour, maybe 45 minutes. They'll just talk to you about, you know, whatever brand they've brought in, you know, what differentiates it, what makes it good. Uh, we're going to teach you guys how to make some cocktails. Um, so that'll be cool. And then uh, we're doing Monkey Shoulder on September 11th. At my restaurant, uh, we are having the uh, monkey shoulder mixing truck. Cement mixing up. truck. It's pretty cool. It's like a big uh, cocktail shaker on the back. That's pretty interesting. And it's truck. it's loaded with kegs of penicillin. That's and, so awesome. And uh, so they're. We're just going to be pouring, and we're going to do our live show from the parking lot next to the truck. So we're going to need an Uber. And you and <laughs> you know what else we're going to do that night? We all get to try the Smoky Monkey. Oh, no that's right. I'm nice. actually excited about that. Ah, that's you can't cool. get it here, right? Nope. In England? And you can you can right. only no. get it in the UK yeah. at bars. You can't you buy can't it buy in the it? store. Nope. That's weird. What's that all it's about? Because it's it's done with uh it's peated with uh peat week. And so uh, since they only make it one week out of the year, there's not why. very that much. Supply. Right. So limited supplies, so that's why they're not going crazy with it. Wow, guys. Uh, Daniel so. says, this is a pretty nice comment. I think you guys have the best whiskey channel on YouTube. I enjoy watching you guys over Whiskey Vault better reviews. Wow, that's a really nice comment. Thank you, Dan Daniel. Cheers to you, sir. Roger that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Cheers, nice. man. It's good to hear. Trust me, we hear, we hear the other side of the coin, too. <laughs> Which is good. I mean, it's honestly, fine. you you got to be able to hear you know we're, both both sides. We, there. You're we not just try to be it. honest about it. I mean, so. honestly, you can ask. The, the funny thing is, you can ask Tom R. You can ask KB, Lee, a bunch of people that have met us in person. What you see here in our reviews and our live shows is exactly what you're going to see when you talk to us. It's just, yep. it's just <laughs> if, us. If you, you guys are our virtual bar t person hanging with us. So it's, yep. You can meet us at a whiskey fest or you know, you're gonna out have of fun. the tasting or whatever. Yeah, we're all going to have a good time. Guarantee that, but it's going to look a lot like this, mostly. So I'm hoping that, because um, I see, I know Amy's on, obviously, and George is on as well. He came down for our, our dinner. Yeah. That was pretty cool. I, I hope they, let us know if you guys can come down for one of these. We'd love to hang out with you guys, because we didn't have enough time last time. But uh, it would be And good this would be a little bit more informal. It's only going to be about 20 to 30 people, and it's going to be extremely inexpensive, what the, the tastings, the tastings? Oh, okay. like you know from five to you know maybe 15 or 20 bucks right and we're gonna we've got cocktail classes we're gonna do all kinds of cool stuff but it's only gonna be about you know an hour and then we can go actually have dinner and and enjoy the sunset yeah. and and do it upright it's beautiful right too. And I might even get the private cabana reserved for us if we're gonna do oh, it really? up you know what the I'm saying? what the private cabana oh, I've never seen that I know um, and maybe even Steph's coming down eventually too, right? Yes. Hopefully. So we're I'm trying to figure something out with her as well. Cool. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have some cool summer. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Might be three dummies except, for a little bit. Mark is shorter in person than he is on YouTube. Why is everybody busting on Mark tonight? I don't tonight? know. Why? I, don't know. That I didn't guy's bust good. on you. I know. At least you guys are being all right. Okay. All right. All right, Eric. I got you're you. Kind of got you. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Unity. Look what you did to my face. Unity. <laughs> wow. I'm not messing with you, Security. man. Security. I did that yesterday, I think. 
Oh man, that's that's Mark. Mark came over to uh, hang out for a little bit last night. We had a couple things to discuss, and uh, you guys tie one on because he got, I, he got I got on, into it. He got on in PUBG with me later last night, and I don't know it's about eleven o'clock or so, and he's like, "What's up?" I'm like, "Oh, you had a you, shoot. you know what happened, man? <laughs> uh, we were doing fine. We had like a couple of glasses, and we were just talking about some stuff. And then Mark got down below the bar and started pulling up SMWS samples. That KB, and he was us. like, "We should just finish some of these off." <laughs> Started drinking and we K- did. KB style. Boom. How many Bottle empty gone. bottles did you take home? <laughs> KB style. <laughs> Ask F- him. Anybody, five bottles. Anybody who knows. <laughs> K- what? Are they down here? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> They're in my house getting cleaned right now. <laughs> oh, man. Right, this is darkness. Dark. Bud <laughs> Matthews. Yeah, he did. Bud Matthews. <laughs> of course he did. I would have been disappointed if he did. <laughs> Oh, it's all good, Eric. I'm kidding, man. That's funny. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, come Blood on. Is hilarious. Mm-hmm. There we go. Gotcha. Uh, back, it, the, it's back up. It's back up. Nice. Done. Speaking of Bud, um, if you happen to be a patron, you can do. we do a pre-show and after-show voice in our Discord channel. So if you're not on Patreon, you should get on because Bud lights it up on audio. You think he's funny here? Yeah, <laughs> I do think he's funny here, but on audio, on audio, it's uh, it's, it's impressive. Holy. Well, thank you, George. Thank you. I, I much, this is just gonna be the bust. Mark oh my Jai. god! Hey, you said your eyes are pretty. I, I know it is a bust. Mark, <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> What's wow, that, to be? that just happened. <laughs> hey Matt, good to see you the show. Uh, this show's going off the rails pretty is, early right? today. It hey, is, yeah, Matt, man. So we are at um, ten thirty. We got half hour. What? What if you got? How, how's your glasses looking there? Well, what do you want to drink? Uh, what's made, the last of the names? I think you guys a surprise right. so you guys can guess what it is. What, what's, uh, I don't know. What's what's the question there? Sent you an email. Major sent you an email. He's going to shirt or something. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the last of names to But it's right? still married. Hey, keep looking that way. All right. I'll keep looking this way. Off into the distance. No. All right. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, hey, what's Telex doing tonight? We can we can ask that. Uh, he put it up way at the I top. Missed, I missed it. I don't remember yeah. what it was. But I don't I, know I, where he did post Nightbot's it. at. Eric, I think I think Nightbot uh, retired. I don't know. Don't look back. Keep looking forward. I don't know. Unless it's, I don't know. It's in there somewhere. Way up at the top of the chat. But he did put it in there. I don't remember what it is. So, oh, look at there, Michael Porter, TS Batch hey. 1. John's already drinking out of frustration for baseball. Bruins lost the night something. It's going to be a long season. <laughs> we got to show that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. it's too early, man. I mean, spring, spring training just got done, right? Like, it's too early to, uh, to be like that. List of names with dollar amounts to the right. Oh, it must be on the screen. Hold on. I don't know. Board. Drew's right. got to tell you that. I don't know. Yeah, I can't. I, okay, so you're talking about on that screen, right? What now? And, and that's, Drew, that's a Drew thing. I'm back now. What's going on? Can I look now? Can you I? You can look okay. now. So, um, uh, explain what they see on the screen. What do you mean? What's Not on the chat. Of, on the chat. On the list of on, on on the screen. You know, you've got stuff down here. Oh, you mean on this part? Yes. Right? Yeah. This right here, yes. right? Those, oh, those are um, basically people that have donated or super chatted. So it just it's, it's, a, it's called an event list. It just rolls the last five people that have donated money or whatnot. Right. So if someone super chats during show, it it adds to that and rolls through. Yep. Um, yep. Because we appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, actually, that's how we that's how we kept track of all all the things we did for the Mac. Six. After, yeah. It, so we've got a, a laundry a long list that we're going to use for. Our random selections. We've already got the list created, so it's just a matter of pulling the trigger. Yep. And we got a bunch of whiskeys to still review. So we're going to burn right through 200 and keep on going, right? Wow. Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, I think we are on the verge of busting 6,000. We are. I mean, I think it's like a matter of days here. Yeah. So I have two that glasses fast. here poured. All oh, right. Two glasses here poured, kids. So um, I think what I'll do is do this. Are these the same thing? Nope. Two different glasses. So I showed the screen. I reversed them. Um, if you remember where I saw, 
if you saw Magic Mike. <laughs> Magic. Um, so these El guys Diablo. have no idea what I poured, hopefully. Uh, let's see if they can uh, have a clue. I, I feel like this is going to be like, I don't remember which one I poured in which glass. Right? All right. All right. I know what it is. I've been drinking a little bit of uh, mm -hmm. a little bit of smoke, so you, you may have that don't concern me as long as I get my money next Friday. <laughs> hey, Cato. Right. I haven't seen you for a while. Is Cato? Yeah, right? No kidding, man. Good to see you, sir. It's oily. Yeah, I'm gonna... So um, you can ask me questions if you like. Hopefully, I can answer them. I use my phone so you can't see what I'm doing. There's a little bit of funk. A little bit of funk going on in here. We want the funk. It's got a nice nose. There's funk in that one. You want to trade? I'll trade you. <laughs> wow, this one smells like perfumey. This one smells like cask strengthy. I like that. Very light and airy. Did you guys trade? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I thought you knew which uh, one was well, which. I did. Don't fuck me. I'm sorry. Uh <laughs> Potty mouth, man. Hey, Alan uh, Ward, what's going on, buddy? We will see you tomorrow. Um, Absolutely. So, yeah, this one is oily. Look at the legs on that. I know, right? I'm Rick James. All right, so I'll... I'll... Did you have the original one now, or no? Mm -mm. No. Okay. It's got a little heat to it. Yes. There ain't much to that. Talk about your nose. Talk about your palate. There's not much to that. I mean, number one, the nose, uh, the first nose I got this off one? of the the Sean, the one you gave to Sean first. This is the original order you gave him to. This, you gave that one to me first. I mean, it smells good. So I, I thought it was smelled really light. I got a perfumey okay. smell on it, like mm -hmm. a floral. Um, and on the palate, it's it, it's got to be forty percent. There's not much there. See this the, the funk is, is is airing off on this one. So mm. Yeah, I'm with you. It's gotta be forty percent or close to it. It's got some spice on it though. Sure. Yours is higher A B V. Do you wanna trade back? Mm -mm. Cause you had a rough time with the high A B V last night. I don't mm -mm. wanna <laughs> I don't wanna do you in, man. <laughs> I'm just saying. You guys any questions? Nope. I'm just gonna sit here and think about it for a minute. So I think. Are you, are you tasting yours now? Yeah. Okay. Did you have a bottle of water back there? <laughs> I did right here. Man, who got Bud started? Did you start it? <laughs> what the hell? He, he had an a, a aura. I think Drew should assume the Paul Schaefer roll up in the 200th roll. <laughs> Alan's going to find you a bourbon you're going to like. All right. I'll tell you what, Alan. I'm excited about Willet. They make some good bourbons there. I think we'll find him something there that he'll enjoy. If not, you can fake it, right? So you make it. Is it... Uh, You'll be all right with it. You didn't hide it underneath there now. It's back where I can see. If I look at the bar, right? I'm not telling you. Well, that's that's not fair, man. It is fair. I don't, I don't feel like that's fair. All right. I mean, I'm trying to get you guys. I'm gonna a, say, hey, uh, listen, I did a the blind review. I had no idea. Talk about it. Mm. How about you guys? It's about the whiskey. Wait. Um, I like I said. So there was a little bit of a funk on it in the beginning. That's already gone. I get, I get a maltiness in it. This is sweet and light. Mm. It does have a, a nice, spicy note. And on the finish, but on the palate, I'm gonna say 46% ABV on that one. I don't think it's cast right. No, yeah, it's, it's not cast right. No, it's but it's higher than this. Yeah, um, it it might be 50, maybe. You're right. It's 46. Just just, just just a tad over. Yeah, so like a 46.7 or 46.1. <laughs> there's a couple. Of, yeah, there's a couple of those distilleries that. So um. Do I have anything up there that's 40? <laughs> what do you think yours is? I don't know. It, it's it's really light. It does it did have a nice floral note to it, but that's kind of burned off too. Now it's just kind of Yours is actually I'm not gonna say that. 
Right, I will. I, it's actually higher. That's higher than this? I believe so. Well, it masks it really well, because it goes down like a 40% ABV. It is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's either a Deanston or an OP. Mm-hmm. No, right here. Mm. That's good. <laughs> I mean, it's... <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it, but I, I don't get a whole no, lot of... It's good. And it might be, because I was drinking Lagavulin, that this isn't the one that's uh, that's standing out. Hey, bud, watch it, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> so now I'm getting a little bit more of the American oak. I'm, I'm smelling vanilla and sweetness in it. Let me give you some hints. Oh, you got some curveballs here. I love curveballs. All right, so... Um, <laughs> Bob, stop it. <laughs> yours is European and American oak refills. Bob sending this dirty text message. European and American oak? Mm -hmm. That explains the spiciness. There's the spiciness from the European oak. Um, this is ex bourbon with the PX finish. I don't know yet. All right, I'm going back to comments. Could be a Sauterne cask. Ooh. Could be. 28 year old Darwin watching day one Masters highlights. I didn't even pay any attention to it. <laughs> what? Bud. I know he's killing me. Everybody's picking on Mark tonight. He is picking on you. I'm not picking on you. That's all good. <laughs> Disco Disc Kim <laughs> Face wants to know where's the one that's missing. Andrew had uh, family. Stuff he's at a band competition. Yep, his uh, uh, in son Ohio. is in the drum line, and, and they're at the major, the world championship. championship thing. Yeah. So last we heard, they were in Bayou Drams. Fifth, good evening. Seventh, something like that. They were killing it. They were doing good. So Cato's drinking something good. We haven't seen you in a while. What's been going on with you, Cato? Have uh, Have you stumbled onto any new whiskeys of late? Anything you want to? Share with us anything interesting? What's caught your eye, man? What's going on in your world? Yours is ex bourbon and ex sure, yes. I said bourbon and then PX, but sure. All right, I'm down with that. Um, so the Cosmo says you're fat. Well, I ain't down with that. I ain't down with that. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have a Bayou Drams tonight. I yeah. know. I said hi. I'm not sure. I've. Don't know who that is. Is that Lee's like cousin? I don't know. It could be. Lee needs to do some investigation. Hmm. hmm. Oh, hmm. Alan said they got three Willets open that you might like. I'm All actually, cask strength. There I'm you go. I'm excited to try some bourbon. This I weekend. do. Uh, yeah, and, and some good bourbons. I, right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. Alan, we've got a, we got a couple things we're bringing down to you. We have more than a couple. Yeah. yeah. Like we, we, we set aside. That was what Mark and I started out doing last night. Oh, we were like, it was inventory. We, yeah. Well, no, we were like, you know what? We need to we need to take some stuff down, and uh, so we started setting things on the bar, and then we started tasting things from the bar. Oh, that's awesome, Daniel. And then it, appreciate Daniel. Thanks, Daniel. Thank you. New patron tonight. I, Love getting new patrons. I like when we go wrong. down in flames, man. Like an old World War II documentary. You know and what I mean? Speaking of that, I so the we went in DC last week was an amazing trip, by the way. Awesome. Um, cherry blossoms, full bloom. But on the way home, we we seriously watched three hours of like History Channel. I just love the whole documentary stuff. It just it gets you in the mood. DC, what, what you got? I'm gonna say old Pulteney, twenty one. No. Hmm. Um, wrong distillery. It's think of think of chocolate. There you go. You think of chocolate. I don't smell or taste chocolate. Fire. What the hell are you talking about? Mm -hmm. He's crazy. Um, now it tastes a little hotter. <sighs> you guys are close, though. I mean, you guys are getting really good on the, on the nose, and you're you're good in the ABV. You're just a little off on. I feel like the smoke before that one threw me off a little bit. I mean, probably because this is definitely a lighter. It's, it was style. a lighter see, style of scotch. See now, this is like was, a light space cider or a Highland. Didn't smell anything like what I smelled at first. Now I smell like barbecue on it. Yeah, probably a little bit of that. Hmm. But what do you? Okay, you done? Yeah, I don't know what um, mine is, to be honest with you. 
So there just wasn't enough on yours, it. yours is on the shelf right here, and yours is on the shelf down. I don't know. What'd you do? All right, so I'm gonna it's say over, mine right, right is right, right, right the the very bottom. This side. Yours is right in the middle. I should help you out a little bit. I guess I, I would say the spay burn. Nope. Really? Which one is it? Glen Kadem. Really? There's yeah. that funk I said. You guys. That's called, why you, you smelled guys it. You called perfume. Who called perfume? I did. But I smelled the funk on perfume, mine. The perfume uh, distiller, or the... Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why I didn't get that one. Well, and to be fair, it was not a good comparison with a lot of them. So it yeah. hurt your palate. So it's not that old pee down there. You're it, saying it's the it's boonie? It's not the... It's the boonie. Is it it's really? The really? Yeah. I wouldn't have said that. I, yours was good. Yours I wanted to drink good. yours instead. So... I didn't like the Mac 3 as much. I liked it the was Mac still two okay. The Mac 2 was really good. Although dry. I... That right. one's really light, and we're down at the bottom, which probably just killed that one because it's lost a lot of its okay. its good. Yeah, go ahead and finish that one. Hey, man, don't make fun of ancient aliens. That's that's real stuff, Eric. It's the I, truth. I'll tell you what. I watched that just for the dude with the crazy I hair. I love it. <laughs> 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 yeah, give it here. He's man. made a living off of having crazy hair. You pass her back. That their gun killed that Rollins. One. That's mine. That's my. <laughs> now we got a picture of a black hole. Uh, anything's yeah, possible, cool, right? Actually, Is that right? It's relativity. <laughs> oh man, it's all good, man. All of it. If you guys, more people need to join the get on Patreon so they can join the pre-show. I'm telling you, we have a pretty good time, oh, and the yeah. after show is pretty good too. The, the pre-show is says we need to try the High Wire Revival Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's made from red corn, crazy different, and so good. All right. Red corn, really? Why? What are you doing? And they, he also wants what? to know. What, finish it off. Yeah, I am. He, he also wants to know what kind of chef. Because I don't think you want mm -hmm. it. You what kind of chef are you? Well, <laughs> the best. Uh, my restaurant cooks a lot of seafood, but uh, I do a lot of. I mean, Rain we do down. we do southern right, wait. style cooking. Isn't this what they I do? do southwest type Aren't stuff. Aren't they doing this on like the Glendronic Appreciation on Facebook? Everybody's. Hey, you hey, got to balance it like on a ball I, I like on top the, of the bottle the and. Bottle. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I, I, I suck at Instagram. I'll be the first he person sucks to say at Instagram, I'm going to take a picture, and we're going to post this picture. Hopefully, I can figure out how to do this. He's the tech Lee guy. needs... I, I know, right? I can't... I just, it's not his cup of tea. No. Nope. Here's okay. what I've discovered what are you do about with all that. that. picture of the Mac... You guys well, why do I want to be in it? Because you guys are... Why do I want to be in it? Because <laughs> you're drinking it. Behind the scenes. You killed it. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So he got Mac, all of you too. I hope you were smiling. Mac, <laughs> Mac three down. There all you right. go. I'm sure it. You guys all go like it right that's now. good. <laughs> chinga, 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 chinga. <laughs> that's good. Uh, well, what do we got to do to get Bud Matthews in this basement to hang out with know. us? Because he would fit right in. Maybe we should get a GoFundMe just for Bud. I, I'll tell you what. You know what else he would do pretty well with us? I think. That, that drunk history episode we want to do. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Smooth Ambler with what? What are you talking about, Lonalu? I have no idea. I'm, I'm kind of glad I haven't tried it. It doesn't sound like something I want to try. I don't know. You look like a Smooth Ambler. Guy. No, no. I'm out. Ambler. I'm out, Jerry. I think you have to wear a lemon suit for that. It's always good. Oh, man. <laughs> what kind of food do you cook, Daniel? I don't cook much anymore. I, I no. I run things. I'll tell you so. what, though. When you I'm running things. Here, it's amazing. <laughs> you need a T-shirt that says that. I'm running things. What kind of things? The, the, the past two weeks have been our, our training for our new staff. So uh, every spring I hire about between 40 and 60 new servers, and i got to train them all up. So today was teaching everybody about uh, distilled spirits. Don't you go get in on this, Michael Porter. <laughs> What's he doing? Uh, <laughs> oh, nice, did you, Michael. Is the universe like balancing out some karma or something? What did you do today? No, thank you, awesome. Kay. I don't know. <laughs> I, I you patron boys. I, I should like have my hangover all day. That's what thank I did. Thank you. Ah, uh, KB. Cheers, brother. KB. Cheers to KB. Hey, the fact that KB's still going. He's been drinking since three. <laughs> the dude's a robot. 
and he doesn't drink anything but cast strength liquor anymore. So it just makes me wish we were out in New York. (laughs) So I'm I'm golfing in May, and then we're gonna hang out. My wife and I we're gonna hang out on our anniversary there in May. It's gonna be a great time, but I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little afraid of KB. (laughs) He's gonna. We're going to drink cast strength all weekend. It's going to be good. But, wow. Keith, you have no idea what you're we, asking We for. already have the audio recorded. Dude. Yeah, the audio <laughs> the audio's already been recorded about a year and a half ago probably now. It's, we, we actually have two different episodes I now. I actually have a buddy that's willing to record it for us, so we could probably make it happen. That would be hilarious. It's a really good story. It's true. I, I feel like that. those may be a patron-only video. They have to be a patron-only. Yeah. Because, <laughs> oh, my God. It would be so... No. It has, it has to be patron-only. We do a, a lot of patron-only stuff, so... <laughs> <laughs> it'd be some good stuff. Wait, what's Amy talking about? I'm just saying. It would be good. You're always a, a guest here. Absolutely, Katie. Amy. What's we, <laughs> these comments? I can't keep up with them. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I, Drew sucks on Instagram. That's great. Bud wants to know if we uh, <laughs> saw it happen live. Thanks, Major. Yeah. I do suck. I, I got to take a, I was just telling the wife the other day, I'm like, you know what? I got I to gotta get off Facebook. I'm a Facebook core. I know I know that. But I, IG, I need to be better at that. And it just, it's hard to wrap my head around it. I think everyone asks if uh, we think that a restaurant focused on dishes with whiskey in them would be viable. Uh, I, I really think it depends on your market, but bourbons, you know, whiskeys are hot. So if you could focus cuisine around whiskeys and have a really good whiskey selection, yeah. I mean, I, I think that depending on the market, you could definitely pull that off. It'd be something cool. It could be something really different. It, it's got to be in the right place. That's the whole thing. I could see it being successful, but I could also see it tanking in no time at all. Because mm. it's, it's not going to be a cheap place, you know what I mean? You're, it's going to be you a you got to have rent. a big enough uh, market in that city to, to right. support something like that. A, a good whiskey market. You know, if you've got a lot of people yeah. that are out and about looking for good whiskeys. I mean, I think if you were down in like, if you were on the bourbon trail... You could probably get away with that in a heartbeat because that's what pe- <laughs> people are going there specifically for whiskey related stuff. So I think you could pull it off there. So Mike says, Michael Porter says, so we don't get sued. We'll, we won't call it drunk history. We'll call it inebriated tales from the past. <laughs> that's great. Uh, we need to get Michael Porter. I'm going to call it Smashed show. Stories. Yeah, we do. We need to get him and his wife over here in the bar and for, for a show because, I mean, they're close. A bunch it, of them. Anybody yeah. that's local to the central Indiana, they need to come by. We just need to make it happen. It's a celebration. Um, yeah, I mean, even if it's on a, on a weekend, you know, yeah. this summer, got great weather, you know. Yeah, we can do a cookout or something. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we throw some bags and drink some whiskey. Thanks we were going to do it anyway. Thanks for the anti-IG support there. I needed that. <laughs> <laughs> for girls to butt some of stuff and to post whiskey pins. <laughs> Well, there is a ton of comments, man. I know. I'm going to get eaten up on this. I Major think. Dramage, you would be surprised. He says he doesn't think that scotch pairs well with food. You'd be surprised. Wow. Absolutely. Oh my yeah. gosh, that's... What, Deanston, what was it? Um, we had the meatloaf. That salmon I had. I yeah, the like smoked salmon. 12, I think it was a 12, wasn't it? A 12? Yeah, I, that last dinner we did, I, it, wow. phenomenal pairings. It was Such absolutely pairing. perfect. It was crazy how well the scotch went with the with the dish. I was like, was. "Damn, this is perfect." You wouldn't think that. No, I I wouldn't order. And, a and I'm normally with dinner. you, but you know what? I I was just doing the talk today with all my staff because you know everybody's like, "Well, when do we when do we ask them? You know, what kind of drink do they want? If they're you know, do they really want another glass of bourbon with their dinner? Absolutely, they do. Right? They probably want two. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know. I, but, you know, my whole point is that, you know, people drink what they like to drink. And if if they want to drink a glass of wine with dinner, great. But if they want to drink a, a glass of bourbon or scotch with their dinner, knock them out. Right. That's cool. You know, you want to sell them that. Yeah. My problem is, is You're on budget. that kid, that, that, that kid that's <laughs> going to sell me the scotch, is, you know, they need to be a little bit careful. If a guy's going to order a scotch, if someone's going to order scotch with dinner, they're probably scotch drinker, all right? And they probably know a little bit about what they want. You know, they know yep. their palate. They know what they drink. You know what I mean? Maybe. So, maybe. 
But you just need to tread a little bit. Like feel the person out a little bit. Don't don't come at me and tell me what what you think I need. I know what I want. <laughs> well, and and I did. That's one of the things that I covered today was you know, you will get people that I was like you know if you get a, a serious bourbon or scotch drinker coming in the door, they already know what they like, what they don't like. You're not going to sell them anything because they've already had it. You right. know. That's right. And in fact, your selection at the restaurant is probably I less than scotch. what they can get at home. I love Who's that? Brooks Henderson. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just pulling the trigger to make a stop. Right. Right. <laughs> You've reading tales from the past. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> ITF. Do I need to start worrying about the <laughs> You might. <laughs> you might. I'll tell you Thank what. You. Thank you very much. We, we can yeah, do. Cheers. We need a wheelhouse. <laughs> we could do, uh, you know, tales about us and some of the. Things that have happened to us. Oh fishing trip. Fishing trips are one thing. I was like, I'm like, where are you going with this, Sean? Brown <laughs> killer whale. That's cool. I'm down with that. <laughs> you guys ever seen a brown killer whale before? Got a picture of one right there. We do. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The sad thing is, I don't think we're gonna go back there ever again. But we may have to just. Oh my God. We we could stop by on our way down to Louisiana. How about that? All right. I like that. <laughs> That's where we need to go. We just need to show up down there. and Body. It needs to dry out a little bit unless you want to curl up with a gator. Yeah. Well, if... <laughs> Boys, we got five minutes left and Telex is going to go on his live show. Oh. What's Telex going to do? He's going to do Dalmore 15 and like then Glenn Cadham 13. Mm. So he'll be doing that on the after show. So. Pizza and bourbon. You guys are making Amy says she's going to be there May 1st. <laughs> What are we text. doing May first? Who do you think I'm getting these texts from? That's Bob. Look at it. Is he still on? Yeah. Wow, really? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. These so guys are crazy. Let's do a recap. What's going on? Um, I don't even know. So we got uh, the bourbon trail this weekend. Yeah, be on the lookout. Well, I mean, we'll, well, I'm sure we'll do some patron lives, we'll, and we'll figure out what's going on with the Max Six live show and and get right. that all posted but this out weekend there. we're gonna have the camera equipment i'm sure that something will go live at oh. some point in time um depends on how busy things really get hey look at this dude um then we do got to finish up the, the max six we gotta we gotta do the drawing get those bottles out and just as a reminder it's not just we're gonna draw for the remain the contents of that bottle and then we're also gonna draw five more people so there'll be six Molly's picking one. Oh, Molly's picking one. Nice. So six, the four dummies. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Cheers, Bob. Bob. I'm gonna drink the last of the Tam do. That's twenty five bucks that Vanderbilt can't get, right? <laughs> that is twenty five dollars Vanderbilt can't get. Anyway, um, <laughs> he's gonna take it back. Um, so the six drams, basically, the four dummies are gonna pick uh, a bottle to pour uh, a two ounce sample out of. Um, whiskey shenanigans. Mike's gonna pull one from his uh, bar, and then Molly's gonna pull one. So I'm I'm gonna tell you right now that my selection is gonna I'm gonna wait until I see who wins it, because I don't wanna I don't wanna pull a peated selection off of my bar for somebody that's not a peat head. You know what I mean? Right. I, if, if I know a little bit about the, the person, I've, I can at least make sure I'm sending them something they're gonna. I've, really I've got two like. picked out already. One peated, one not peated. So we're just gonna figure it out. When right. We pour, yeah. You know, whoever Same picks here. me. Then we'll figure it out when we go. Yep, um, exactly. Here. Molly's a pretty good judge of scotch, though. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, whoever, that whoever Molly's drawn for, you're gonna get uh, yeah, you're gonna I get a decent bottle of taste, right? Hey, Dustin, thank you. Dustin, <laughs> we'll hot sky. Yeah. Everybody lift a glass of Dustin. Thank you, Dustin. Cheers to that. Mm. So lots of great support tonight. That's guys. that's got to happen here in the next two weeks, but. Um, be on the lookout. We're going to break 6,000 subs here probably in another Very day close. or two. Yep. Right? Yeah. So we got some special exciting. guests coming on. Uh, we were just talking to Ed uh, yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Email. Emailing yesterday. We so have a so lot we're, of we're getting that going. We do. Right we do. Now. A lot of things. Um, still working on this, the cast, guys. We haven't given up on that, but. Um, it's tough. It's not an easy task. We're, I mean, we're working We it. could have had one that wasn't. Quite uh, up to where we wanted we it to be already. To you guys. We're gonna Amy, make sure we thank you so go. much for, for coming on Thanks and for moderating, and moderating the, the channel. Press like on the way out. <laughs> Press like on the way out. <laughs> uh, anyway, you guys go oh, check hey. out Tell Major Dramage uh, is going to upload his first review. 
Nice. Awesome. Congratulations, well, man. Wait a minute. Major, Major Jim, what's we'll the channel? Throw the channel name down, down yep. in the chat so everybody knows to go check it out. And I'll tell man. you what. It, Absolutely. It's intimidating. You know okay. what I mean? You're, you're putting your oh, opinion but, out there, and you don't know how everybody's going to take it. it. It's a little I'm bit scary. I'm going to tell you, this is our 200th review is coming up. And we still are getting crap about our 13th or oh, my 15th gosh. or whatever. Yeah. Right? Like, that it's was okay. four years ago. That's all right. right. It's four okay. years ago. I got it. Yeah. Heard it. Thanks. <laughs> We talk over each other? No kidding. <laughs> you should, you should scroll up and see some of the other comments on here already. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it is a cool community, and it's awesome to be involved. And I, I think that it's more voices are good. Yeah, you know? Absolutely. absolutely. Uh, so yep. welcome to the club. I'm, what What is the first review going to be? What would you pick? Yeah, we're dying to know. Uh, <laughs> I, I'll tell you what. Uh, Bob likes that it, it's, uh, He does. It's, yeah. a, it's a little intimidating, not going to lie. It is, we, but... You and know. you know what? It, when we thought about it, everybody was like, ah, you just got to do it. You'll learn as you go. But you won't learn anything until you get started. How much have we learned? Oh, a ton. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you, it's a, it's a journey. It really is a journey. It really is a journey. But the, the key is, is just be yourself. Yeah. Because like, it really is, reality is reality. It's You're not going to be wrong. You might not be right every time, but you might, I mean, it is what it is. It's yeah. subjective. And, and, but, and you'll right. learn more stuff, not just about whiskey, but... Uh, like all of the technology You'll stuff, learn a ton from social the media on this stuff. Chat. You learn a yeah. ton. Well, a ton. Like for Lee, for example, Lee uh, Scotch in the Bayou. She has her own blog out there. She started through a few weeks ago. Great information. Go awesome yeah. content. She's a great writer. Yeah. Heck yeah, yeah, she is. So yeah. makes me feel like I'm wasting my life. <laughs> yeah. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? <laughs> but good luck with the channel, man. I yep. mean, that that's a big deal. So I hope it works out. Anything else, right, guys? That's it. No, we uh we are live next Thursday. We we're, we're yep we're, yep okay. So I just want to make sure that everybody knows that. Look for the next review. Two hundred's coming in two weeks. Very close. Hope to see somebody this weekend uh, while we're down in Kentucky. Alan, Tell we'll us see you Alan can't dinner. wait to see you. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be awesome. We'll see you guys very soon. Thanks everybody. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. I'm empty. I, I am empty. Cheers. I drank all of that. <laughs>